We need to talk about how people have a right to understand how their data is being used and how it's being collected. I did some qualitative research last year that was focused on the strange experiences that people have on the Facebook platform. One person described seeing an advertisement that said, sell your Asian eggs. Another woman who was in her early 20s was getting advertisements about uh, baby products. One or person talked why about she should how have a kid. he had interacted with someone just on a dating a app lawyer and all said of a sudden he was getting friend recommendations. was Googling some really confidential matters for a client and, and, and then all of a sudden getting a friend recommendation. recommendation. Based, based on that confidential matter. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of implications to it. I think a lot of people had different experiences on the platform that speak to this dizzying web of information that is being shared about them. It's kind of like Facebook is telling me what I should be doing or like how I should be thinking about my life. As customers, we do exist in this power dynamic with these companies where we're handing over all of our data for perhaps free services, but we don't necessarily have the ability to get accountability into how it's being used. Dear Internet, I love you, but we need to talk about the ways in which data collection and surveillance have become the norm how the business models that drive surveillance have become the norm and how people have a right to understand how their data is being collected and shared.